This is a call for fundamental reform in contemporary physics. Non-physicality of Lorentz transformations Sometimes it is considered necessary to know what the results of spatial and temporal measurements might be. If these measurements are done by observers at rest with a system, denoted by lowercase k, moving with respect to a system, denoted by capital K, at rest with which there are observers, the stationary observers, who are in need to know about the situation in the moving system, lowercase k. The importance of the answer to this question has been embellished so much that nowadays the specific approach, subject to discussion herewith, which is used to provide that answer, is, unfortunately, the backbone of all important contemporary theories of physics, supported by the mainstream. The solution provided, namely, using Lorentz transformations, is demonstrably non-physical without even resorting to experiments, which renders major existing theories in physics wrong. Once one undertakes answering this question, it should be clear that no matter what method might be chosen, when experiments of, say, the spatial or the temporal coordinates of a body are carried out, the measurements, ruminations and considerations are done in the stationary system. Capital K. Called also laboratory system, rest frame etc. With respect to which the observers doing the measurements and drawing the conclusions. Are at rest. Because this is where they reside. Observers in stationary system, capital K, cannot carry out direct measurements in moving system, lowercase k. They can only speculate about the following two things. First, what the observers in the moving system k, see in their own system, lowercase k. Or second, what the observers in the moving system k think observers in the stationary system k c measure it should be clear that no matter what method is to be used the observers in stationary system capital k can only speculate about what is going on in moving system lowercase k suppose the spatial and temporal coordinate values of the two ends of a rigid rod are known in the stationary system K. And they are x sub 1 equals 0, x sub 2 equals 1, when times t sub 1 and t sub 2 both equal 0. Notice carefully that the time t sub 1 is equal to time t sub 2. Some suggest that it is the Lorentz transformations that are the right instrument for the stationary observers in capital K having at their disposal only their own stationary capital K system coordinates X and T in case they need to judge what the observers in the moving system lowercase k observe measure for the coordinates C and tau in their own system lowercase k however while Lorentz transformations are entirely viable mathematical constructs they have no place in physics because these transformations lack physical meaning. The following proves at once that Lorentz transformations lack physical meaning. Thus, using the only known coordinates, namely the coordinates X and T in the stationary system, capital K, apply the Lorentz transformations with the aim to judge what observers at rest with the moving system lowercase k determine for the coordinates x and tau in their system lowercase k shockingly Lorentz transformations represent the values of the coordinates in the stationary system capital K, given by the initial conditions of the problem, as the coordinates in lowercase k, xi sub 1, tau sub 1 and xi sub 2, 
toss up two of the rod in the moving system K, which must obey the following conditions. Here is an animated illustration of the just said. Thus, while all points of the rigid rod coexist in the stationary system, capital K, which is evident by the equality of the times, T sub 1 and T sub 2. The shocking fact is that Lorentz transformations yield, correctly from the mathematical point of view, different values for the quantities tau sub 1 and tau sub 2 which are times in the moving system, lowercase k. And that fact is shocking and defying reality, because physically, obtaining different values for the temporal coordinates tau sub 1 and tau sub 2 for a rod, undoubtedly intact, means nothing less than its two ends existing at different times in the moving system, lowercase k, intact rod, in stationary system k, is represented by just one single dot for every moment of time, in moving system, lowercase k. Thus, according to Lorentz transformations, an intact body and stationary system, capital K, is represented by a mirage entity in the moving system, lowercase k, which has only one point existing at every moment of time. All the rest of its points are either in the past or in the future. Such a picture of a body in its own coordinate system, only consisting of just one point at every instant of time in that system, obviously, has no physical meaning. One immediate conclusion from the above is that the famous so-called length contraction is out of the question. As seen, after Lorentz transformations, no two points of the rigid rod exist at the same time. Therefore, according to Lorentz transformations, at no given moment of time, can there be two removed from each other points of the body in the moving system to measure any length between them whatsoever. Lorentz transformations destroy the very concept of length prior to any talk for contraction of that length to be considered at all. Not all legitimate mathematical formulae or constructs have physical meaning. Lorentz transformations are an example of legitimate mathematical formulae that unfortunately, have no physical meaning. Therefore, any theory in physics that is dependent on Lorentz transformations is a non-scientific theory and must be rejected. Examples of theories in physics which cannot do without Lorentz transformations are the string theories, cosmology, most of particle physics theories, including theories quote, predicting entities such as Higgs boson. These theories should be rejected out of hand without delay and no public money should be spent on anything having to do with them. Researchers, especially the young and enthusiastic talented people, should redirect their efforts to other productive areas, areas of real science. This is a call for fundamental reform in contemporary physics.